Hey guys, welcome back to the Pipe Squatch channel. Zeke here. And today I'm doing another pipe review. I've done a few different American pipes so far. Of course, Mor Morgan Bones, the Dagner P7 Poker I had. Um, okay, I've done two different American pipe maker reviews. <laughs> And this one is going to be another American pipe maker. I actually have been debating whether or not to get one, uh, where to get one, and recently Dagner Pipes announced that they were gonna start selling the OMS pipes on their website. So what I did is went to Dagner Pipes, bought my OMS Fieldmaster Bent Dublin, I believe it is. So let's just go ahead and show you the pipe right here, right now. Comes in the nice little Pipe sack <clears throat> has the OMS pipes logo on there. There we go. Get it right. And the ever present slow pull out of the pipe sack. Isn't that what we're all supposed to do? Show the pipe like this. Oh, there's something in the sack too. Oh, cool. Uh, Dagnerpipes.com T. Got a bunch of swag with the uh, box too. Same swag that I got with the Dagner pipe. Uh, but this is my OMS pipe. My initial impressions are awesome. Really lightweight. Uh, the look, it's got the fishtail stem on there. I'll show you more in the close-up video like I always say. The biggest thing I'm noticing that's really cool, and this is, this is coming from a gun guy. The texture on here is almost like stippling a Glock handle or any other kind of polymer pistol or rifle. When you stipple it, basically what that means is you'll take a soldering iron or something else hot and put little divots and bends, and some people even do shapes to where they can do dragon scales and stuff. It's really cool. But what it does is if you get sweaty in the heat of combat, is if you get sweaty in the heat of combat or training or even competition or just target shooting, uh, the sweat won't make your grip slip off of the, the hand grip. Your grip, your hand slip off of the grip. Yeah. And it's called stippling. This is very similar to that. It feels like <laughs> once I have it, it's gripped. It's not coming out of my hand, which is really cool because I've, I've dropped one pipe and I hated it. It didn't do any damage to it, but God, it was just like, no, because it was... It wasn't like a outrageously expensive pipe, but it was expensive. The logo is really cool. Uh, all three of these companies, these American made companies that I've done, the Morgan Pipes, Bones, its logo is really cool with the rabbit ears and the crossbones. The Dagner Pipe with the skull and the crossed pipes. And now the OMS has the crossed pipes, which that seems like a, a thing going on here but it's within a shamrock and it looks like a Celtic knot wrapped around that shamrock with the OMS and old writing and pipes below it. So really cool logo. Uh, nice nickel band or silver band. I know, I don't think it's silver, I think it's nickel. Uh, but yeah, you had a choice between brass or silver. I got the silver, I like it. I thought it looked a little bit better. The, 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 the rim has kind of a beveling to it. Instead of just keep doing this where I know you can't see it good, let's just go to the close-up video. Okay, so here we are on our close-up video. And there is the beveling I was telling you about in the pipe. See it on the edge right there? Really nice. Then we come here and you can see the logo stamped on the side. Got the nice stem there, fishtail. And this is that grip. That, I'm gonna call it a stipple grip. I, I think they called it rustication, but this doesn't feel like some of the rusticated uh, ones I've had before. Yeah, I need to trim my nails. I got a little hangnail there, leave me alone. But there's the little uh, metal band, really cool. I like the way the side is slim. A lot of people do it on the bottom, but it's unique. It's something different. So. Nice bowl, it looks like it's got a coating that came in there. And I'm gonna be reviewing this pipe with some Mississippi River. Reason being is that I saw one of the OMS pipes YouTube videos where he got some Mississippi River. I know they've changed the formulation, there's some difference, but he was stoked. I think his saying is look on it, look on it. 
I thought it was awesome how excited he was. But I don't know if he likes the new version or not because it was the old version that he was talking about. But I'm going to do that out of, uh, it's kind of a salute to uh, OMS, One Man Smoke. Check out his YouTube videos down below. I'll put a, put a link down there. I'm going to pack up a third of a bowl. Even though it's got a coating in there, I still like to do the, uh, the, the one third uh, rule to where, you know, breaking it in. Apparently with coatings, a lot of people say, oh, you don't have to break it in. You can just go to town on it. I, I don't have an opinion on it either way. I just kind of go with what I've always done. So, got the Mississippi River in there. Going to do a review on it eventually too, of course. But let's go ahead and light this thing up. Before I do, the draw is awesome. The flavor coming out of this is almost like, uh, if you've ever chewed tobacco, I think it's Levi Garrett that tastes like raisins. That's kind of the flavor I'm getting out of this. And that's just from the air passing through the tobacco. But uh, the draw is excellent. All right, now we'll light it up. On the char light alone, I'm getting some really good flavor out of it. Let that cool off for a minute and we'll come back to it. I'm just absolutely digging this, this texture. This stippling, like I'm gonna call it, texture. Uh, rustication, rustic, craggy, whatever you wanna call it, it's awesome. Just really feels good. As far as weight in the, in the mouth, if I wanted to clench it, it's no problem. Really light. The, the grain on top, and you saw it in the close up, contrasted with that, that, rug, that rugged look on the, on the sides of the bowl, and then the nice polished up stem. There's just something really rugged classy about this. To where, like, with my Dagner Pipes poker, that's just a rock star. That's just, you know, you feel like a friggin' rock star driving around smoking on this thing, because the carbon fiber, the black. This has more of a sophisticated but rugged, almost like, almost like if you were the CEO of a hatchet company, something like that. This is what you would smoke. Rugged, rough, yet still classy and sophisticated. Now for the tree light. I'm gonna use this golf tee to tamp it down. I've got a tamp that has a little concave design like a golf tee. It's, it's wider than this. I don't have it here. It's that, um, the one I used in my first video, the long one with the ornate designs. But I kind of like the, the round middle that it does. I don't know if that's, this is big enough to do that with, but. Okay. Now for the test I always do. I'm gonna lightly, lightly, lightly just let air flow in through the stem. I'm not gonna barely draw any air in at all. Perfect. You don't have to do anything. Okay, and then give it a little bit more. This has got an amazing draw. I'd put it up there with the best drawing pipes I have. It, it's hard to, you can't really say one pipe, it, it, it's, it either draws good or it draws bad. Because you have good geometry, you have bad geometry. Maybe there's a middle of the road where they kind of get the little angles a little bit off. Uh, but even the bad geometry is, it's just a little bit off, a lot off. You got a hole sticking out of the bottom of your pipe. This is good. The draw is good. This is right up there with every good uh, draw pipe I've got right now. Very smooth. The size is good. The bowl's not enormous. I mean, I'm learning from my Sherlock Holmes pipe. This thing's enormous. This is something I'm gonna sit down for an hour or more and smoke this. This, you know, probably 40 minutes or less. 
one man smoke, man. You 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 got a phenomenal pipe here. And you're just north of me in Kentucky. Once again, supporting a local business. Even though it's Kentucky, not Tennessee, it's still close. Man, that's a good smoking pipe. I know right now they're selling them on DagnerPipes.com. I think you can still get them on OMSPipes.com. Of course, OMS stands for One Man Smoke. I went back through his videos. He's been doing YouTube for a long time. He's kind of like the pioneer of, of this YouTube pipe game. I think the oldest video I found was just over seven years old. It's been a while. And he's fun to watch. He, he seems like a really nice guy, really laid back. Hadn't met him yet. But as far as his pipes go, jeez. I really like this pipe. So far, American made pipe makers, you're three for three. Morgan Bones, Dagner Pipes, now OMS. Yes, I would recommend you get one. This is, like I said, is the Fieldmaster Bent Dublin. I really like this pipe. One of these days I'll find a pipe that I don't like that I can talk about. So far it's all been positive. So I'll put a link to his website in the, in the page, in the thing. The little word typey box down at the bottom. Description. Whew. I'll put a link in the description down below and you can go to his website. I'll also put his YouTube channel there. Put Dagner pipes there too if you want to buy them from them. As of this video, they were running a special on the pipes. So these are going for 134 to 139. If you go there as of me recording this video, you're good. If you go there after, which today is August 15th, I probably won't even post this video until August 17th or 18th. But if you go there after that date and they don't have any more, please don't blame me. Now, it's giveaway time. I didn't do a hundred subscriber giveaway. And I have two favorite numbers, 13 and nine. So I'm gonna be weird, like I always am. I'm gonna do a 139 subscriber giveaway. How am I gonna do this? 139 subscribers, what should I do? Well, by the time you're watching this, you probably saw my first TV show review, Game of Thrones. One, tell me if you liked it or not. Two, I want a video response of TV shows or movies or books, because I'm going to start talking about books I read too. I read a lot of books that you would like to hear me talk about. I'm going to play with the format a little bit on my reviews. Last time it was just kind of like a rundown and then a little bit of review. It may be more rundown, it may be more review. I don't know. Just us sitting around having a pipe and talking about stuff that we like to watch or read or do. In your VR, tell me TV shows you'd want to see me talk about, your favorites that are either pre preferably current or at least a few years old. Tell me about movies especially. I'll probably do a lot more of those. There's probably only going to be a one or two little TV show series that I'll latch on to. Uh, or if I do do a review, maybe I'll just do a whole series review instead of like an episode by episode. Tell me your favorite movies that you'd like to see me review, movies that are coming out you'd like to see me review. If you've got a good book, what book, in the video response, what book are you reading now and what book would you like to hear me talk about? One book I'm reading right now is just, it's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving, oh, I'll just show it right there. Awesome book. I'm going to talk about that in a video soon once I finish it. I'm trying to really hard not to talk about this Mississippi River because I want to do a separate review with that. But as far as the giveaway goes, my 139th subscriber <laughs> giveaway. Oh, what am I giving away? It's a good question. I saw my review of the Esoterica Pembroke. I'm going to give away some Pembroke and I'm gonna do something really cool. I'm not gonna give away a new pipe. I'm not gonna give away a new tin of tobacco. I'm not gonna give away money. But what I am gonna do is something with my estate pipes. Like I said before, I, I've got a ton of estate pipes 
in my garage. Usually because I see two or three in a lot of 20 that I want and I'll bid for those two or three and I ended up with 20. Well, I'll polish them up and try to sell them on eBay or whatever. But I just think that's boring and I want to do something fun and cool. So what I'm going to do is I've already started working on this pipe for this giveaway. Polishing it up, making it look good. But I'm going to take some of these pipes. I'm going to test them to see if they're good smokers. These little seconds, these companies I've never heard of that you wouldn't be able to buy on eBay for, you know, 10 bucks. But I'm going to make sure it's a good smoker first. And then I promise I'll clean it out after I get my slobber all over it. Promise. And then I'm going to trick it out. I'm going to trick it out because nobody wants to buy it anyways. Nobody's ever heard of it, but it's a good smoker. And this one, what I'm going to do, if you're a Walking Dead fan, I'm going to wrap it in barbed wire like the Lucille bat. Not big barbed wire. I found some little barbed wire, like miniaturized. I'm going to trick these things out with themes, whether it's TV shows or movies or comic books or sci-fi stuff or anything you can come up with. Actually, I tell you what, in that video response, add that to your list. What would you like to see me trick out these cheap estate pipes that I'll make sure they're good smokers, promise, to look cool with? To, would it look like, you know, those, you know, uh, tiger shark teeth that you see on old World War II planes or what have you? Throw me some ideas, I'll do it. But the one I'm gonna give away is gonna be the Lucille bat slash Lucille pipe from The Walking Dead. If you're not a Walking Dead fan, um, maybe you can sell it. No, I promise you it's gonna be cool. I promise you it's gonna be a good smoker. I promise you I'll clean out my slobber after I try it to make sure it's a good smoker. Cool? VR, I wanna hear what TV shows current you want me to review and talk about, what movies you'd like to see me talk about or future movies coming out. What book are you reading now? And what books you would like to hear me talk about? And now, ideas you could give me to trick out these estate pipes I've got in piles in my garage next to my polisher and everything else. Um, let's come up with a date. I know Lonnie L.L. Haynes is doing his the first couple weeks in September, so let's do Let's do the end of September. Let's do September 29th. Random number. September 29th, we're going to do the drawing. So everybody that's done a VR, I'll get a list of them. Uh, let me know somehow that you've done a VR so I can find it. In the title, put VR to Pipe Squatch GAW. So I can Google or search it on YouTube and find it. I've been rattling on too long. OMS pipes, yes, get one. Fieldmaster Bent Dumbling, especially, especially with this little rusticated stippling that I love on the side. It's awesome. CEO of a hatchet company pipe. That's what I came up with. I don't know. Thanks for watching. I really, really mean that. Thanks for getting me to 139 subscribers. Hopefully I'm at more by the time you're watching this. Uh, I, I really appreciate everybody that comments, everybody that shared my videos. I love being a part of this community. I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. This is the kindest, most generous community I've ever been involved with. Um, it's a blast interacting with y'all. Uh, I've only had one or two trolls, and trolls don't bother me anyways, I, just, I don't feed them. But it's, it's really fun. So thank you all, and as always, keep the pipes loaded, slow down, philosophize, and enjoy life. See ya.